how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. I am super excited to be bringing you this video today. In fact, I didn't make this discovery myself, but several members of the community did. I got a bunch of DMs over on Twitter about this discovery, so huge shout out to the community for finding this. And of course, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be talking about some big evidence that there is definitely a new Fable game on the way. And not only that, it's most likely going to be announced very soon at the Xbox event that is supposed to take place this July, so you can be on the lookout for this Fable announcement. I'm not sure if we are going to get like a gameplay showcase, a gameplay reveal, some kind of story trailer, or maybe just one of those 10 second teaser trailers where Fable 4 just comes up on screen. But either way, this is the biggest evidence that we have had so far that there is a new Fable game coming, and not only that, it's coming very soon. Most of the other evidence we got suggesting that there was going to be a new Fable game were those old-fashioned 4chan and reddit leaks just like mama used to make back on the farm. Mama used to make all sorts of fable leaks back in the day. But remember this information isn't obviously an official announcement from Xbox that there is a new fable game on the way. However, in terms of evidence this is more confirmable evidence than most other speculation you can have. But still go ahead and file this away in the speculation category. But don't worry because as always we're going to be breaking down this information together. That way you can see that my bullshit capacity meter is always running at 0%, and that way you can have all the links and stuff to verify this information for yourself if you choose to. And we're going to start our adventure right here at the current list of pending and active trademarks filed by Microsoft. In case you don't know, Fable is indeed owned by the gigantic Microsoft Corporation. I wonder how Microsoft would be in a Cyberpunk 2077 Corpo future, but, but that's a, a video for a different time. And in regards to Fable 4, all the rumors suggest that it is being developed by a studio named Playground Games, and Playground Games is confirmed to be underneath Microsoft, but as I said before, there has been no 100% solid confirmation that Fable 4 was in development. Even everything that you see online and all the articles and stuff are all based off of like 4chan rumors and supposed insider leaks, but this right here, if we scroll down, you can see the very first big piece of evidence suggesting that there definitely is a new Fable game on the way, and it is this trademark right here. And Microsoft wouldn't need to file a Fable trade mark for any reason unless they were indeed making a new game because they they already own the fable trademarks for the previous games in fact if we search fable right here you can see that they have multiple other fable trademarks one for the united states one for canada and one for europe and all of these fable trademarks are class 9 classifications which means they are all video games this new fable trademark is not only a class 9 classification but also has a ton of other classifications as well everything from paper the cardboard goods to leather and imitations of leather to furniture, household or kitchen utensils, clothing, games, toys, pretty much a lot of stuff and it seems like all of these Fable trademarks would have to be involved with either a promotional campaign and like all the different assets for that promotional campaign for Fable 4 or perhaps a Fable 4 collector's edition that's going to have stuff made out of this material that is Fable themed within the collector's edition as well. We've seen this for a Starfield trademark in the past but even though it doesn't seem like much if if you look up Fable 4, any other information about it is just pure rumors, supposed leaks, or supposed insider information. This right here, though, is 100% activity from Microsoft as recent as June 26, which is like a week before the time that I'm uploading this video, so this is huge right here. And in the past, most companies won't file a trademark for a new game or even a sequel for a new game until right before that game is announced. I know Bethesda Game Studios and Bethesda Softworks in general don't do this because we've seen the Deathloop trademark, we've seen the Starfield trademark long before the games were announced. But Apex Legends had a trademark go up like about a week or two before it was announced. Ubisoft trademarks go up like a week or two before they're announced. Rockstar Games goes up usually a few days before they're announced. So the point is that there is indeed a set trending pattern by game companies to file trademarks for new games within a very short period of time before that game is going to be announced. And there's supposed to be a major Xbox Expo this month in July. It was supposed to take place at the beginning of July, but now people are saying it might take place at the end of July. There's a lot of rumors involving this Xbox showcase, but there's supposed to be a bunch of gameplay there. Hopefully a lot more than uh, the previous one. And based upon the timing of this new Fable trademark, it seems very, very likely that Fable 4 will be announced at this Xbox showcase this month in July. Now, just to show you how new this Fable trademark really is, if we look up the trademark documentation over here, you can see that the only updates the only actual
actual like information that was logged regarding this new Fable trademark was the application being filed on June 30th. In fact, the application is still pending in the United States and Patent Trademark Office database, so I mean, this is a very, very new trademark. Now, with that in mind, that means that the game most likely won't come out anytime soon, but of course, we know that the Xbox Series X isn't even out yet, and I almost guarantee that Fable 4 is set to be a launch title for the next-gen Xbox, but seeing how the Xbox Series X is supposed to come out, uh, like at the end of this year, we could potentially be playing Fable 4 on the Xbox Series X this December, and that is amazing. That's definitely a thought to warm the cold winter months coming ahead, and I for one am hyped. I love Fable. It's been one of my favorite game franchises and RPGs for a long time. It definitely has its own unique vibe and some pretty funny meme-worthy material in the game. I'm sure Fable 4 is going to be no different, but the game was kind of ambitious. I mean, you could you, you could basically own almost every house and business in the entire game world in Fable 3, and even though that doesn't sound like a, as exciting as it is to some people, the game is just deep. It has some unique stuff that other RPG games don't have, and that's why Fable stands out to me and why I am hyped for Fable 4. Now, I believe this is going to be the first Fable game not being developed by Peter Molyneux, so that's that's going to be interesting. Peter Molyneux is like the original creator of Fable, however, he's kind of had a falling out in the gaming industry lately. So I'm kind of interested to see how much of the original Fable identity and vibe and tone Playground Games will take with Fable 4. Fable's more of a lighthearted RPG. There are some serious tones in it, but they're, they're kind of like spread few and far between, but that, that actually gives them more weight. That actually makes these serious tones seem almost more impactful because Fable is an otherwise beautiful and lighthearted world, and then you see these problems in it, and it kind of takes you out a second, and you're like, holy crap, I gotta fix this. I need to take care of this situation because it's ruining the beauty here, and it kind of engages you in that way. Now, there's plenty of supposed Fable leaks and rumors I could break down for you, but those are, who knows if those are true. I mean, Fable is one of those games kind of like Starfield to where there's a lot of leaks and most of them are fake and most of them come from Reddit or 4chan. And while I do somewhat cover those those leaks sometimes, I prefer not to cover the majority of them because you give those fake leakers more attention. I only talk about the ones that seem credible. And today we're not talking about anything that is most likely fake. We're talking about some 100% confirmed information that a new Fable game is on the way. And this is definitely a new Fable game because Microsoft would have absolutely no reason to file a new trademark for Fable because as you can see here, they already own the Fable trademark for multiple different regions and they wouldn't need to file a new trademark for a new Fable like spin-off game or a Fable remaster because they already own a trademark to the previous Fable games and it takes a lot less time and money and attorney fees to just use a previously filed trademark that you can simply reuse for your new product like Fable for in this instance than it would to file a whole new Fable trademark. The reason they're going the extra mile to file a brand new Fable trademark is obvious because as you can see here, look at all the merchandise surrounding it. They're going to be going hard with Fable 4, with that Fable 4 marketing, with that Fable 4 merchandise. We're going to have Fable 4 dining room tables and glassware. We're going to have Fable 4 education. We're going to have Fable 4 porcelain, my dudes, and I am hyped for Fable 4. I am hyped for Fable 4 porcelain, and as always, what I want to know is if you are hyped for Fable 4. Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below, and if your comment wins the internet, you may get featured in the future video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the latest uploads, and follow me over on Twitter for news that doesn't quite make it into my videos as well as other channel updates. Check for links down in the description below for the official Skullzy Discord server, the Skullzy merchandise site, and if you want to have your hand in providing future content, there are links on how to be an exclusive channel member over on Patreon or even here on YouTube, and if you want to get a future video shout out, you can make a small donation to support the channel over on Coffee. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when I can't wait to see everyone's ugly ass Fable 4 characters. You can get some crazy looking characters in the Fable games, that, that's for sure.
just works.